I've been painting fences all summer because, well, money is nice to have. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm doing a long job like this, all I can think about is how to do it faster. Like, I can get a wider brush and cover more ground, but if it's too wide, the brush won't fit in the bucket. I tried attaching the paint buckets to my belt for quick paint reloading, but, well, there was only one way that was going to end. I even tried delegating, but after some disagreements, the workers started unionizing. I ended up doing a ton of research and bought myself one of these. This bad boy can paint that fence faster than Emily and her union ever could. Just you wait. This thing is incredible. It would have taken me hours to paint that fence. I feel like a painting prodigy with this thing. Having the right tool for the job can make all the difference in the world. And that's not just me saying that. Although, I am saying that. All throughout scripture, we have story after story of God equipping his people in supernatural ways to take on the tasks he had for them. We've got guys like Samson, who God gave crazy strength. Then there was the brothers Moses and Aaron. When they visited Pharaoh, God made Aaron's walking stick turn into a snake to show Pharaoh his power. And throughout the New Testament, God's Holy Spirit equipped Christians in all kinds of incredible ways. Like this one time, Peter met up with this man named Cornelius. While Peter was telling Cornelius and his household about Jesus, those who were listening were baptized in the Holy Spirit. God empowered them to speak in tongues that they had never even learned. Imagine you're just walking through your school and one of your best friends, someone you've known your whole life, starts praising God in languages you know they've never spoken before. Like, you both have taken the same elective since freshman year, and you don't remember French, Mandarin, or Spanish classes being on that list. In my book, that would be a pretty undeniable miracle, and that's pretty much what was happening to the believers in the New Testament. And it didn't stop there. The Holy Spirit worked through Christians to provide healing, knowledge, prophecy, and more. And the best news is that he hasn't stopped doing it. He's called each and every one of us to a unique mission. And if we ask for the baptism in the Holy Spirit, he can empower us with the tools needed to accomplish that mission. Kagan, back to work. Well, I'm feeling pretty empowered to get the rest of this fence done. Sorry, that was awful. I hope it wasn't too offensive. Back to work. Okay, sorry, gotta go.